Hi! Today I'm going to be showing you a technique using Photopea, which is a web-based version that is very similar to Photoshop. And we'll be taking a simple photo, these are both iPhone photos of clouds in the sky, and using Photopea to create these really cool mandala effects. So here's two examples I've done here, and we'll get started in Photopea. So it's just photopea.com and you would do file open to open up the picture that you want to work with. My picture has some other extra stuff in it that I plan to crop out, which is fine. Um, we'll be cropping down to the shape of the square anyway, so you won't see this railing that's in the bottom of the frame. Um, if you want to make any edits to your picture, so anything to make it more bold or more colorful, you can do image adjustments and select what you're looking for. Maybe vibrance, where you can make the colors that are not as saturated pop. You can check the preview box to see a before and after. And so I'll say OK. Um, and then maybe for the other example, I adjusted my levels because it was a little more dull. So I pulled the darkest darks and I pulled the lightest lights. And you can check the preview once again to see the effect there. For this specific one, I actually don't want to do that, so I'm going to hit reset and close. Next, I'm going to get the crop tool. So you can click on it here, or you can press the C on your keyboard. Um, if you're working on Photopea on your phone, you should be able to do this whole process as well. Um, at the top bar, you might have to scroll over just a little bit to see some of the windows, but you should have no problem doing it on the phone. So next, I'm going to get the crop tool. and Go ahead and make sure this is changed to fixed ratio at one to one and that you have the box checked to delete the cropped pixels. I'm going to um, start dragging from the corner basically and I'm holding shift while I'm doing so. So that keeps my square in proportion. As I'm doing this, um, once I've let go, I can move this box around if I wanted to make sure I've got exactly the part of the sky that I want and then I don't have any of these other items in the frame. And then I'll hit the enter key. So this has cropped me down to a square. I'm clicking on the move tool next. That's always a good default in Photoshop or Photopea. And next we're gonna be sizing down the square so that we can start the rotation of our mandala. Okay, so next we are going to go to edit, transform and scale. Um, at the top here, for the width box, you're going to type 50%, and same for the height, the H, 50%. And you can click the check, or you can hit enter. Um, now I've got the move tool, and I'm moving this square into the bottom right corner. And it should pop right there, but if not, you can hold shift and drag it down. And I'm going to duplicate this layer. You can do that by going to layer, duplicate layer. Um, or right click here and say duplicate layer. It pastes right on top. I'm just holding shift and dragging it over to the left until it pops into place. And next I'm going to image, sorry, edit, transform, and flip horizontal. And so this gives me kind of like a mirror image of what we have so far. Next is layer, merge down. And so that's going to merge these two pieces together. Again, we're going to duplicate this layer, and so now it's right there on the top, and we're gonna move this piece up using the Move tool. So you can hold Shift and drag it up to the top. Once it's in place, you're going to go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertically. And so now you can see we've got this big mirror image of our cloud mandala starting to form. So next is gonna be Layer, flatten image and it makes it one complete solid piece and we're going to duplicate this whole piece now. So right click, duplicate layer. With this top one now, we're going to start to rotate this a bit and so you're going to go to edit, transform, and rotate. At the top you'll see lots of numbers again and so we're looking for the angle option and we'll be typing in 60 degrees. Type 60, hit enter, and this has rotated this piece a little bit. I'll lower the opacity so you can start to see what's happening. All right, and so now we've got this piece in place. We're going to duplicate this layer, and so now we've got two doing the same thing. 
we want to turn that top piece just a little bit. So again, edit, transform, and rotate. And same thing, once again, 60 degrees. And enter. Okay, so I can hit the eyeballs, and you can see my two layers here. Um, now that these are in place, we're, we're pretty close to being finished. So our top layer here, we're going to the blending modes, and we're going to switch that to overlay. Same thing with the next one down under, so the middle layer, switch that to overlay as well. And you can see the mandala is coming into effect. All right, so we're going to go ahead and flatten the whole piece here. So we are going to layer, flatten image, so it makes it completely flat. You see I have no layers. And so it's just three little steps left. So we're going to duplicate the layer here, the only layer we have. Right click, duplicate layer, and this is on top. And we're going to edit, once again, transform. And now this one is going to be rotate 90 degrees. And so just to give us one more rotation there. With our top layer, we're going to change the blending mode to multiply. And now you can see the finished mandala. I'm going to turn these transform controls off, and I'm zooming in with control plus so you can get a closer look at the finished piece. These are really neat because you don't know what your piece is going to look like until you have gone through the process. I like them because um, they remind me of tie-dye and really just the beauty of the mandala itself. Everyone turns out differently, and you can imagine the different effects you could get um, if you had a colorful sunset or a sky completely full of clouds. Um, the options are really endless, and I hope that you enjoyed. So to finish saving your mandala, you want to go to File, Export as JPEG, and this will give you a file that you can really use anywhere. It will automatically save to the Downloads folder on your computer, and you can do with it what you like.